they have dominated much of the headlines this year based on how much damage and destruction they have caused across the Middle East and the Ukrainian battlefield. These are the Shahed-136 drones produced by Iran, shown in these clips taken from Iranian state media during an exercise. In an interview given by an anonymous U.S. official this week to the war zone, says that the U.S. military actually got a hold of one of these Shaheds, analyzed it, and then reverse engineered it to come up with its own variant. It's in the process of working with several U.S. companies in the innovation space to come up with this design. And that is exactly the design and model that it plans to field and deploy to its new task force, Task Force Scorpion Strike in the Middle East announced this week, which will be equipped with these new combat drones. According to available information, this new task force will fall under the U.S. Special Operations Command Central, also known as SOSEND, and will be made up of about 24 soldiers that will be responsible for establishing and operating these drones based on the comments given by this U.S. official in the same interview. One of the companies known to be working on this project in cooperation with the U.S. military is Spectre Works, based in Arizona, which in July unveiled its Lucas Drag drone design. While its information is not yet available on the company's website, a design said to be directly related to the model of Lucas is the FLM-136 target drone that the company already makes and appears to be heavily based on the original Iranian drone. The company claims it has an endurance of 6 hours, a wingspan of 8.2 feet, length 9.8 feet, and that it's capable of carrying a payload of up to 40 pounds. In this article by the War Zone, U.S. Navy Captain Tim Hawkins says that the cost of the Lucas is going to be approximately $35,000, which is much lower than traditional long-range U.S. systems.